hello welcome back to this channel so if you are 20 or you're in your mid 20 or you are in your late 20 this video is for you okay so your girl is signing out from the 20s and i'm going into a new level which is the 30 and i'm here on this video to share my experience with you guys okay all the experiences i've had in 20s everything all the right the lost right the confused right the bad the good the ugly the stuff everything i want to share with you guys how my 20s has been like a wavy journey and how i've learned so much um how my 20 have molded the person that you're seeing today if the person that is now confident knows her self worth you know knows the things that she wants in life where she wants to be you know who she wants to be with stuff like that this all happened in my 20s and i'm here to share with you guys everything i have learned now it is not possible for me to tell you guys everything in just one video okay i have to break it down but i'm going to be telling you guys like the most important thing on this video the most important thing my 20 taught me i'm going to be saying it on this video i want to see the rest all you have to do is let me know in the comment section how soon you want to see it and i will be dropping it because girl i have learned so much okay i have i have learned so much and i feel like these things that i've learned if you listen you might learn one or two things from it okay so yes let's get into this video the number one thing that my 20 taught me okay my 20 experience the number one thing it taught me is this life is not a competition okay this life this reality that we are on is not a competition that is why they did not give birth to all of us at the same time okay that is why everybody have their time everybody came into this life in different time on their own time when they were supposed to come this life is not a competition that is the one most important thing that my 20 taught me girl everybody have their parts everybody have their purpose everybody have the reason why they are on this reality why they decided to come why they made the agreements to come into this reality so everybody have something they need to fulfill and nobody is actually heading on the same parts okay each and every one of us have our parts we have everything we need to accomplish and it is different from the other person's own um part okay so it cannot be a competition when you're not working on the same part that is one thing you need to know in your 20s especially if you're in your early 20s please do not get influenced and do not get bothered by anything that anybody is doing because this life is not a competition and it is not even just for the people that are in their 20s now if you're even in your preteen or your teenage age you need to hear this you need to know that life is not a competition now the world has already been designed in the way that they have an educational system and they have a system that they feel like everybody needs to go through and this system is give birth to you you get to a certain age you start your nursery school and then you go into your primary you go into your secondary then university then masters if you want to now after that you get a job you get married stuff like that that is how they have placed it that is how they want you to follow it but guess what girl that is not how life is meant to be that is not how life actually was designed to be or is designed to be life is designed to be your own personal experience okay so you get to create what you want to do you get to create the life that you want to go through or the parts that you want to work on so you don't even need to follow the system that they have created for this reality you don't need to please do not feel in any way worthless because of that or do not feel in any way left behind because of that you need to get this into your system life is not a competition now growing up let me come to my own story let me tell you guys my own story now growing up i had to go through the educational system that they've created by like the system i've created and i got into primary school secondary school and when i was supposed to go into university i did not get admission now if you're in nigeria you will know that getting admission is really hard like it is the hardest thing ever like the the amount of people that graduate from secondary school and the amount of people that goes to university is not much and the amount of people that go to university and the amount of people that get work at last is not like the system is even it was created to fail now i once i was done with secondary school i did not get the admission like i had to stay home four years now during the period i was home for that four years i got depressed i came out from depression i got you know i started feeling like okay the universe was not on my side god hated me there was a reason that all these things were was happening to me and it was not for a good reason like it made me feel less of a person it made me feel less of like i felt like okay i was just alone in the world and anybody that sent me here the creator that sent me here 
sent me to suffer i was not even seeing the blessing in disguise i was not even saying that okay this is why or this is what is meant to happen and i had to follow my own path i was just comparing myself to everybody that i finished secondary school with that got into university or got into the next thing like i was just like oh oh this person is getting into university and you know the way it is in secondary school when you finish and when everybody's anybody's leaving they are telling you or you know you're just sharing it amaka has left ijoma has left peter has gone you know david is there like everybody has gotten and this one has gotten admission in this place this one has traveled out to go and school it was like that like that and i was just like oh, when is going when is going, going to be my turn when am i going to you know get my own admission and i did this four years i stayed at home now see this is the funny thing now when i said that, when i said like okay try outside um which is ghana i started to try and i got into ghana this is what happened now people that finished immediately when i finished like the year i finished, I finished 2009 people that finished 2009 got admission and you know went to university in that 2009 or let's say 2010 they were still in university right and i got my own admission um in ghana four years later guess what do you know i actually graduated before most of them because in ghana there is no strike there is nothing holding you back you do your four years you're gone okay in fact there's a way you do it and in three years you're done you have done your degree and you have your certificates well proven valid guess what these people that got before me that made me so depressed made me feel like i was you know less of a person or what less they were still in school and i was done now those kind of experiences started making me see that oh it is not about who started first it's not about the main thing is how you finish did you finish the way you want to finish and i just realized that i wasn't supposed to even compare myself to any of these people i wasn't even supposed to you know do the things that they were doing i had my own path but yeah it did not dawn on me well though. then i got into my 23 24 and i was always hearing this from my mom that oh my mom got married when she was 23 and you know most of the people in my area the place where i stayed most of them were getting married at the age of 22 23 so the next thing on the plate for me when i was in university was to get married now because of the pressure of this marriage team because i come from a family of four girls and yeah four girls were already so according to people we're already men's problem like they are going to marry us off to men okay so we're already getting to the age where was was we need to start marrying getting married now you understand african way my dear it got to that point 23 24 i said i think you know i need to you know this next stage i need to beat everybody to it i don't know i was thinking something but then i almost made the wrongest decision in my life i was about to get married without even knowing who i was what i wanted to do what i really wanted to do or you know the things i even it, i didn't even know my color like my best color i always say my best color is blue but now nah, that wasn't it because i was programmed to think that was my best color because i was following the system so i didn't even really know who i was or who i am i think and i wanted to get married now imagine someone like me getting married and giving birth what kind of child do you think i will raise someone that doesn't i don't even have like a connection with the source of life i didn't have like a spiritual connection spiritual connection Ibu tongue i didn't have a relationship with the creator the source of life you know i didn't have a um, connection with anything created by the source i did not even know my own self and i was about to get married and be a kid so what kind of kids am i going to be bearing and what kind of kids am i going to be raising when i don't even know this thing so yeah wrongest decision and that one did not work now when that did not work that was the period when i started saying that i was about to make the biggest mistake of my life based on competing like i was about to you know mar get married you know to someone because i don't i don't want to be home when i'm 30. i was about to do things based on the fact that i came into this world i came into this reality and these are the things that have been placed for me to follow and my body was not sitting right with it my mind was not sitting right with it my whole being my whole body my whole everything wasn't sitting right with this already planned decision that has been placed before i even came in i didn't want that okay so when that did not work the marriage did not work i started finding myself and i started realizing that all along all i had to do was take time to know myself take time you know to study who i am take time to build a relationship with um the source of life take time to you know be myself so that when i decide to get married and bear children i should be raising children that have integrity that are honest you know that are authentic original that knows yourself that will not even come into the world and be nuisance okay they will come into the world and actually be like 
be someone okay be like of service to humanity you know play their part the way they're supposed to play and not follow any system or nobody's opinion and not be influenced by other people okay so i needed to just be myself so i can raise children like that i realized that life wasn't a competition so i took my time at this point i'm turning 30 trust me i'm not even thinking about that i'm not depressed i'm not angry i am even happy because every moment every second every minute every hour i spend with myself i realize more things about myself and i realize that most of the things are that i've actually faced in life i needed to heal from them the traumas from my childhood you know the things that i have used as survivor instincts i needed to heal most of them there's something i want to tell you guys okay so i i, I feel like most of us know this thing it is a saying that says that what you are you attract now this saying is not a joke what you are you attract that is the universe for you that is the law of the universe like what you are whatever you are whatever you think whoever you think you are whatever what you think you have that is who you attract that is what you attract now based on friendship based on relationship whatever it is that you're going whatever ship that you are you know trying to create what you are is what you attract now during my 20s that i was living a life that i didn't i didn't even know myself i didn't even know my worth or anything the friends i was attracting and the people i was attracting into my relationship were people that were like mirrors of the things that i was okay and now spending time with those people and realizing that this is not even what i want made me realize that there is something in me that there is not sitting right that i needed to change my perspective i'll be my perspective about life i needed to you know really take time and really understand myself you know take time away and really get to know myself so i can mirror someone that already know their self so i was meeting people that were either confused lost or needed healing or broken in some way because of that that's who i was i was like someone that was being led so i was meeting people that are being led like ships no shepherd ships <laughs> you guys should know this if you're in your 20s you are your mid 20 late 20 please know that life is not a competition if you are if you don't have your car now it does not mean you will not have later okay if you're meant to have you're going to have it it has been placed for you before you came into this reality so you're going to get it if you don't have children yet it is not the end of the world girl if you are meant to have children in this reality you're going to have them if you don't have a love life yet the person that is supposed to come into your life the main true love of your life is at the other end of your healing it's at the other end of you getting to know yourself so take your time spend why why is it that most of the people in their 20s don't like spending time with themselves they like to be outside they like to you know do take your time to learn who you are know who you are stand by who you are okay take your time to know what you stand for whatever you stand for you stand for that privately or publicly be yourself be your authentic self so you can reflect that to the universe and it will bring back you know what you deserve what you are okay so i don't know spend time with yourself in your 20s please do not do not feel depressed do not feel um that you're like behind you're never behind you are you have your path you have your own destiny you have your own creation to create okay so just stick to your path stick to your own creation stick to yourself you know be on your own lane and trust me you're going to find life to be more more fun you're going to find life to be more more interesting you're going to be learning from every experiences you go through because now you know who you are and everything that happens around you does not disturb you but instead it makes you grow more because you're learning you're observing okay so please learn this life is not a competition i took my time to talk about this because this was really something that that was almost all my 20s i just put in a box like that but anyways let's move on to the second thing that my 20s has taught me okay the second thing that i learned in my 20s is that for the fact that they have it does not mean i want it or i should have it okay i really struggled with it in my early 20s i struggled with this for the fact that they have it does not mean that i should have it or i should want it and this is what i mean now growing up my 20s that was the time that we started having blackberry you know human hair started raining and yeah it was now a thing like i said people are ships so people were going with the trend and i was part of the ship no jokes i was part of it my 20s was when it started coming out so yeah i was part of it fully part of it okay i was part of the whole charades the, the whole you know trendy following the trend you know yo 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 yo, -yo. i've called them yo yo because it is everybody has the same thing is yo yo so yes i started you know because of all those things where the things trending i started 
doing too much to get these things out i started stressing myself stressing my head you know trying to you know get money to you know be in a part of the trend get the hair get the phone get the shoes that were that was reading at that point and then at one point i realized that i don't even like hair so i was killing myself stressing myself putting myself through all these struggles heart headaches emotional headaches everything headaches because of something i don't even like now if you have noticed my channel like my first channel you will know that i like to even wear braids i like to you know the things i like are things that makes me look natural now when i was in my 20s i did not know this because i was the sheep i was part of the sheep i was being led i was following the trend now that is not a good look on your 20s now i know everybody's supposed to go through these things to learn that is how you learn to be better you have to go through them but i am trying to save you the time and the pressure of knowing that when they have it or if they have it does not mean you should have it or you should want it because it might not be your thing okay that is why you need to know yourself so you know your thing it might not be your thing for me those things were not my thing i am not someone that likes to wear hair i was killing myself then for hair the blackberry self come it's not like i like the phone i think the best phone i've ever used is samsung so yes you see it was not my thing i was just following the trend those shoes babe i don't like heels like that and i was killing myself to buy heels back to back the headache i'm someone that actually feels comfortable wearing flats or boots or sneakers those kind of things but i did not know this until recently when i realized that whenever i go out i'm the kind of person that when i go out i dance i like to you know socialize i like to move around and you cannot be doing that wearing heels so i like to be comfortable and i like to be grounded and i did not know this i was killing myself in the 20s trying to get it please save yourself the stress okay for the fact that they want it or they have it does not mean you want it or you need to have it okay stick to your thing find out what your thing is so you can go along with your thing okay the next thing that my 20s taught me and i think i'm going to end on this one because this video has been too long i'm going to be dropping more let me know in the comment section if you want to hear more but the next thing that my um 20s has taught me like this is really important this is to my spiritual life okay my 20s was the best best time for me to learn that i needed to grow a relationship with the source of life like the the source the force of nature the force of life the force that governs all life the force that knows all souls that have come that is here that is to come that source the source of life the source that connects you to your mother when you're in the womb i needed to have a relationship with the source i needed to you know have a personal the key point here is personal a personal relationship with the source because having a personal relationship with the source helps you know yourself better okay having a personal relationship with the source will save you from scams from pastors will save you from scams from people that claim to be perfect will save you from stress of people that want to use religion to scatter your life okay having a personal relationship with your source with the creator of life having a personal relationship with god almighty we make you know your stand in life okay we make you have a solid stand you know just you just be yourself be original be authentic with no fear of what the future holds or what the future will, will be because you have this connection with the source my 20s was the best time for me to learn it and i learned it well now all the experiences i have had so far in my 20s all came together to bring this particular last thing i just said my spiritual life because i started checking it like how i grew up how i went from situations to situations how you know even when I felt like the universe did not like me or love me how at last i saw the love and the lessons i was supposed to learn and how these whole things you know came out to be wonderfully designed for my own good and this this satisfaction that i i have had from these experiences is making me very sure of my 30 because i feel like my 30 is going to be wonderful okay so just i don't know i want to end this video here and i want to end this video by saying if you stick with me Till i get to 40 you're going to be hearing the wonderful experiences i share about my 30s okay because 20s has been like the real school for me okay you know the school of life the basic school of life is in my 20s my 20s was the real school of life for me because i learned because 
I observe because I swallowed, I sucked so many in, I let go so many things. I was curious, you know, I everything I was curious about, I tried and I realized these things and not for me and this is what is for me. It all happened in my 20s, so I know it's going to happen for you. If you pay really close attention to your experiences, you're going to get there, you're going to understand everything and you're going to put one and one together to get to, you know, you, to your own alignment. But anyways, these are the things that I've learned in my 20s. More videos to come, okay? This is not the end. I have so much I have learned. I have so much I want to share with you. I am so happy and I want to share them with you because girl i want your 20s to be like a smooth ride for you i don't want you to go through the waviness i had to go through especially with friendship with relationship with uh all the ships i tried to build in my 20s not knowing i was mirroring exactly everything i was inside okay and yeah that was not a good feeling and i'm going to be sharing more on the next video that i share about my 20s but anyways please wish me happy birthday on the comment section and just say big up 30 okay more great things happen in my 30s okay say that say a prayer for me i love you guys so much i hope everything i have shared here is able to you know get you into that point of confidence about your future about your if you're your 20s early 20s about your mid 20s if you're in your mid 20s about your late 20s and if you're your late 20s about your 30s i hope this video has given you a solid ground on that okay thank you so much for sticking to the end i love you guys so much i can keep saying that because i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Mom, bye